Welcome back to Horror Mania. It's time to buckle down. It's October. We're going full force every single day of the month, new Horror Mania. So, let's get right into it. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Infernal Boiling Pot from 1903. So, without further ado, let's check it out. Alright, this is the Infernal Boiling Pot from 1903. It was directed by none other than George Melies, who you're probably pretty familiar with by now. And while an enormous influential pioneer in the field of special effects, French director George Melies was strangely not that interested in making color films in his career, mainly due to the time and labor that it takes to hand color films. His first colored movie was done in 1897, and was titled The Hallucinated Alchemist, which consists of an alchemist sitting in front of a giant glass container as he dreams, and lots of crazy stuff appears inside the container. The only problem with the film is that there isn't really a plot, and it ends abruptly like it's missing the last few seconds of the film, but it still looks amazing. Milaz wouldn't attempt to make another one until 1903, when the hand-colored movies done by Edison Studios were starting to become as popular as his films. That year, right after the enormous success of his masterpiece, A Trip to the Moon, Milaz directed three films that he hand-colored himself. The Wonderful Garland, The Cakewalk Infernal, and The Cauldron Infernal. Of the three, The Cauldron Infernal, or The Infernal Cauldron, is the most well-known, mainly because this film followed Milaz's interest in the horror genre. The film is about an evil green-skinned demon, who is of course played by George Melies, who works as an executioner in hell. Another demon in charge of bringing him the condemned begins his work by sending a woman to the executioner, who joyfully ties her and throws her into the big cauldron he has in his room. His assistant brings him another two condemned, this time two male corridors, who follow the woman to her fate inside the boiling pot. As the bodies enter the cauldron, the infernal flames grow bigger and bigger and reach an enormous size. After putting the three inside the cauldron, the demon stirs up the remains and suddenly smoke that comes out of the cauldron begins to form images that resemble bodies of the condemned. It turns out that these images are the souls trying to escape, so then the demon raises the fire from hell to stop them from escaping. That's a pretty epic story. The special effects are great and extremely clever. I like the painted backgrounds of the film, but isn't hell supposed to be just a big fire pit? Why is it not like that? It looks like it's taking place in like a building or something. But overall, this film is fantastic, so check it out.